I haven't played a zombie since Black Ops 3. I'm level 1, haven't tried the zombies yet, but I think I'm gonna start a camo grind. Ah, okay, looks like I'm starting with the 9mm PM. I guess I'll do pistols first. See if I can remember how to play zombies. A rampage inducer. I think we need headshots. Two shots of the head round one, it's interesting. Uh, do I try that? I'm kind of scared to try it. I don't know what it does. Round acceleration increased difficulty. I grew up playing zombies, uh, not in the sense of the normal I grew up playing zombie story. It's uh, I never had Xbox Live or really internet at the time, which I know now you can't even play it without internet, but zombie in the window. Anyway, I grew up playing zombies offline, just like going to friend's house or at my own house. I'm used to like the old zombies. I'm not used to like the health bars and, and the fueled equipment, equipping different augments and everything. Don't get me wrong, I think it's really cool, but I never got into Cold War Black Ops 4, really. Or any of the other zombies past Black Ops 3. I kind of stopped playing around there and just did other stuff. But, I've been seeing that this game looks pretty good. And I'm definitely down to try something new. Oh, the Vagalgums are free now. Uh, Arsenal Accelerator. Charges field upgrade faster. Alright, may as well. Just try it. I don't know why I thought it would just automatically charge it. Okay. <clears throat> now, in any zombies I've played, I'd be dead right there. <laughs> I don't know how I'm alive after that. It's a good thing I didn't turn on the Rampage Inducer. Yeah, I don't know. I kind of wanted to have something where I can just talk. Because most of the content I've made is centered around decently highly edited clips or just like clips put together oh hello and i feel like that's not the kind of content i want to make like i want to make high effort content and everything but right now i'm just not happy with what i was doing it did uh, i didn't feel like i was making good videos or videos that uh I felt good releasing to people, so I'm going to try something new. I don't know the camo requirements. I'm pretty sure it's headshots, but after that I'll probably have to try out the new uh, save and quit feature they added to this game, which is amazing. Like, okay, how come it took this long for them to add a save and quit to zombies? Like, is that is that too hard of a feature to add? Like, don't get me wrong, I'm glad they added it, but did it really have to take that long? <laughs> like, come on. Every game is a save and quit. The fact that zombies didn't is criminal. This thing is uh, garbage. But I think I'm going to do this. I'm going to go one weapon at a time. I'm not going to touch any other weapon until I have the last one finished all the way through gold and camos, uh, which is probably not a good idea, but you know what? Sounds fun. I also think it's interesting seeing what level I end up being or how far I end up progressing through the game uh, before I actually finish every weapon. Oh, wait, yeah, it's not a dog's run. It's like awful spiders horrific beings do i have power on this map by default i do and you can still print out brick machines that's good yeah i've seen some footage of this map i've uh, seen other people do camo grinds and it seemed interesting it's like almost a podcast type thing where you just kind of talk about things that are going on in your life or uh things you're interested in or things about the game and just give people something to listen to which i think is cool i think it's a more uh, fulfilling kind of content than the content i was making at least. I still want to make my editing content, but I want it to be in a different form. Oh yeah, Omni move and I can like run in every direction. I always forget that's a thing. There's like bottles right there and if I hit all the bottles, then I get a free dead shot, which I absolutely am going to do. How I'm going to do it with this pistol remains to be uh, seen. I don't know if anyone feels the same about this, but I feel like Call of Duty's been not dying, but getting less fun over time. And this is the first one I've seen in a very long time that just seems to break the mold for me. It just looks good. Oh my god, this thing's garbage. It's really falling off. War. And we're at one shot headshot. Oh, thank god. Okay, I want to see if I can do the dead shot easter egg thing. Okay. You chill there, little guy. Little man. I missed. Cool. I mean, it's hard with iron sights like that. <laughs> Maybe I should, like, have a gun that I buy just to do that. Because... On some of these weapons, that's just not going to be happening. Let's be real. Like, this one was really ambitious for me to attempt it with this thing. Oh, I've got three weapon levels so far. There we go, 100 crits. I don't know how I feel about things from Warzone being in zombies. I think some of it's fine. I've yet to see the extent that this goes with it, but... That's the reason I didn't like Cold War zombies. It just felt like it wasn't really zombies anymore. Oh, it's round 10. I can try the thing now. Sending frag. 
And now that should cause zombies to fall from the sky. Yeah, there we go. That's so funny. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, I can blow up the cars. I gotta be careful of that. Okay, where's the thing I'm looking for? There's supposed to be something called an ether tool in here. That's gonna upgrade my gun. That's not an ether tool. That's proper gunner. Yeah, score streaks and zombies is also very interesting. There we go. That's what I needed. Now my gun should do a lot more damage. It does. I, uh, hello? Okay, well that guy's not as difficult as I thought he would be. I'm actually fine with X-Fill. I think x is a cool feature because it allows you... Oh, I can see Jug on the map. It's right there. It allows you like a natural end to the game. If you feel as if you are done playing for that day and I guess you don't want to use the new save and quit feature, you can just exfil. If I die before I'm able to finish the camo in one game, then I can just put all the upgrades on. That's kind of nice. I gotta remember to put armor on. I'm just so not used to the armor being a thing. I don't know how gobblegums work in this game. I know that like there's no Dr. Monty's factory anymore. That's an entirely new perk, no? Melee Macchiato. I'm gonna wait on that till I'm doing like melee weapons because I know the knife and everything has its own camo grind which is really cool in my opinion like we never had um melee weapons as actual weapons before i mean i know cold war and stuff did but i, I didn't i didn't play those like back in the older era of zombies we never had like proper melee weapons besides like the golden spoon and that's through an easter egg i think i should upgrade the rarity wait i want to see now that there's damage numbers i want to see the difference that it does okay so my headshot damage is 644 and it is now Um, oh, is that 965? Okay, oh, I didn't want to pick up the nuke. Oh my god, I'm throwing. Uh, I guess I'll buy dead wire. Ooh, anywhere but here goes crazy if they didn't change it. That's such a good gobble gum. You get a jail free card. What are you? Like a Margwa dog? Oh, he slammed me into a wall. Up on cars. I will say the movement in this game feels way nicer than the older games. My god, you are so freaking tanky. I'm sorry I made fun of the other, like, the mangler. This guy's so much worse than the mangler. You open your stupid mouth. There you go. As much as I am definitely a fan of the older zombies, I can say this is fun. I like this. It's different, and it's fun. I, I know that zombies couldn't have kept releasing, like, you can't just have Black Ops 3 over and over again, right? Like, that game was its own game. And this game has done a lot of twists on that, and I think it's done a good job. I didn't think Cold War did that good of a job. I think Cold War got boring fast. This might also get boring fast, we will see, but so far, I, I kind of like it. Yeah, I've just been like, in terms of content creation, I've had a streak for a while where I will come up with an idea and think, wow. That's, like, the best idea for a video ever. <laughs> and I'll record it, spend, like, weeks editing it, you know, like, build out this whole, uh, there was one, okay, I'll just, I'll, I'll say a couple of them, because I'm not gonna ever release them anyway. I've been making, like, mod packs and stuff for Minecraft, and I've been, uh, trying out, like, uh, I had an idea for who has broken the most, or not broken the most bones, who has the most bones, right? So, <laughs> the concept was, there are multiple different methods of having more bones than the average person. Some people just genetically have more bones due to mutation, like maybe they have an extra bone in their finger or something. Some people have, like, whole extra limbs. Some people have deformities or mutations. And then there's also situations where people like Evil Knievel have broken bones. And I know you can argue that they'll fuse back eventually, whatever, but I think it's funny to think of the concept of every time you break a bone, you have an extra bone. So there's someone out there, like maybe it's Evil Knievel, maybe it's not. There's someone out there who has broken the most bones in history and technically has the most bones. And then obviously once you actually go and make a video like that, you're like, wait a minute, this is garbage, but it sounded funny. But yeah, I've had like Minecraft mod packs where I've tried to set up like a scenario and just survive through it, like a hundred days type stuff. And I it felt like it felt like i was taking something that i was passionate about with content creation and trying to commercialize it it felt like i was just trying to follow trends and do stuff for performance and that felt wrong i guess you could argue that i'm doing this for a similar reason like it seemed popular but but i felt like if i made videos like that or released those videos that i had worked on and spent all that time on I would kind of be joining the uh, the Mr. Beastification of YouTube, uh, if you've heard that term before. It's kind of like the concept of 
YouTube changing from a platform where you just, you know, someone going and uploading, uh, like the early days of Smosh, you just upload like a song cover and you're this is, like goofy, it's funny because you enjoyed it. You were there and you made that video with your friend because it was fun. You had a passion for it and you wanted to do it. It feels like nowadays the landscape of YouTube is like, God, what can I do to make people click on my video? So I can make boatloads of money, so I can make them buy my products, so I can shell out a crypto scam, stuff like that. Like, it's just so wrong and so different than the YouTube I grew up with. I, uh, I've had a couple channels, like, when I was really little, and, uh, I've done embarrassing things on them, as most people my age. But I, I grew up around, like, watching Sark, c you know, like, the early era of Minecraft, like, Ant Venom and everything. And... Comparing that to what we have now, I feel like something's missing. It feels like everybody's just less passionate about what they're doing, and it's become a very commercialized thing. Like, it's less so now people sharing their interests with other people, and more so people being like, oh, wait a minute, this can make boatloads of money. I want money. And I think at some point, there's going to be a shift where it'll go back to creator-focused stuff. I think AI is... This might be a hot take. I think AI is allowing like small creator content to come back because a lot of those people who just want money and have no passion for it and everything are implementing a lot of AI content. Like uh, if you've been on YouTube Shorts, you've probably seen the videos where people will have an AI voice go over a story. And that story has been told, oh, 600 kills, nice. And that story has been told dozens of times like you've probably heard it before even like five shorts ago but they just throw it in they throw the text into an ai voice generator picks up voice and they don't even get the like minecraft parkour footage together there's a website that uh will randomize parkour footage behind your ai text to speech and then you give it the text uh prompt and it will also give you subtitles so these people are putting zero effort into their content and making relatively large amounts of money for that i it's just so wrong but anyway that kind of content i feel people are getting so bored of that and the mr beastification of youtube that i think right now is kind of a turning point where people are trying to find like authentic creators who just are passionate about <laughs> about what they're doing i mean that will always be around people are always gonna try and earn as much money as they can off of it and research everything to find what is the most profitable for them or to get it out to the most people but i think we're gonna see a pretty big resurgence in passionate creators another good example is like uh, some people uh, jay schlatt for example have another channel where they where they talk on i think even markiplier has it now he's just got like a power washing channel where he just goes and he talks to people and he chills you know it's nothing about it is for the algorithm Nothing about it is for profit. It's just sitting there and having an actual conversation with another human being and just talking about life between them. I think it's really cool to see that. And Shlan, I mentioned earlier, has the weekly slap where he'll just boot up like an old Call of Duty game and just play and talk about what's been going on in his life. Uh, stuff like that is kind of what made me want to do this series. Like, yes, it is. It has an end goal. It is about getting... Uh, the zombies variant of dark matter the the like mastery camos but it's also just like a place to talk a place for people to listen just hang out just leave it on while you're doing something else heck while you're grinding camos as well and if you ever like i okay i i try to read all the comments there is um a certain anomaly on my channel where i wasn't able to read all the comments but i still try if there's any uh, any of the stuff I've mentioned, like uh, the Mr. Beastification of YouTube or any of the problems with content creation that I've brought up that, that you guys have opinions on, feel free to talk about it. I'll respond. Uh, I'll try to respond to all of them, but we'll see how it goes. Immolation liquidation, that's just fire sale if I remember correctly. Wait, wasn't there a purple, like, there was a purple armor somewhere. Was it in the church next to Bag a Bunch? Two manglers? Hello? Why are there two of you? Is it just because I killed the other, or were there actually two on the map at the same time? Hmm. Oh, there it is. 10,000! Okay, whatever. I mean, I've basically got my gun fully upgraded now. I just need all the perks. I don't think I'll be touching the box this, this entire series. Unless I have to for something, but I'm pretty sure in this game, you can just equip a loadout and load into the game with whatever gun you want at the start. And I think 
that's something that is one of those changes where I mentioned where as much as I am used to old zombies, starting with the same pistol every game and either holding it and upgrading it to Mustang and Sally's or whatever, like the Mauser on, on Origins, I, I think that's boring, okay? Like, hear me out, that's boring. As much as I'm a fan of those games, I believe the weapon rarity system and the weapon you loading in with, uh, the, the weapon you load in with being a low rarity, like in this case, Gray, is really cool. Because then, if you want to use a specific weapon for camos like I am right now, or if you just like a specific weapon, you don't have to deal with the box RNG. You can choose one weapon, and you have that weapon. But if you want to upgrade that weapon and keep it viable, you're going to spend all of your resources. It's round 25 now, and I barely got this thing leveled up. Whereas, if... What was I talking about? <laughs> oh my god. I just lost my entire train of thought. That is crazy. It's just because I'm trying to focus at the same time as talking. Which, I mean, in the end is a skill issue, but you know. It's just nice to be able to use the weapons you want, or the weapons you want to try in a run. It also allows, like, a lot of situations for speedrunners, I feel like. I haven't watched many speedruns in this game, as I've been trying to keep uh, low on watching content for it, but I, I assume there's certain weapons that are better at speedrunning. Okay. And uh, I assume loading in with said weapon is probably better than uh, just trying to box for it. Like, it probably saves time. People don't have to farm for RNG as hard. Okay, the Abomination's like, really cool. As much as he's, like, really hard to kill, he's really cool. Also, the uh, Deadwire seems uh, incredibly mid. Didn't it used to do infinite damage? I'm gonna try out Blast Furnace. Or whatever it's called in this game. It used to be called Blast Furnace. That's oh, doing fire damage. Wait, is that... Is it just me or is that doing a lot more damage than I was a moment ago? Like, a lot more. Okay, I want to check. Because I know this game has Wonderfizz in it. And I think I heard it's around 25 it comes in. Uh, one problem. I don't know where it is. Is that Wonderfizz? Oh, it is. And I bought Melee Macchiato. That's not what I wanted. It's, I wanted Deadshot. I wanted Deadshot Daiquiri. Which, to those who don't know is no longer useless on PC. Because all it ever did on PC before was, uh... Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, give me a second, I can't think. All it ever did on PC before was make your hip fire spread lower. So it was like borderline a useless perk unless you had perkaholic or like got it through other means. Now, headshot do more damage. I know, crazy. The jingle of it finally makes sense. The headshot power of the deadshot daiquiri and before, it did nothing for headshots. Which is crazy. Like, it, who came up with the... I mean, the jingle's absolutely fire, don't get me wrong. But who came up with that in the first place? Like, what were they thinking? Like, yeah, if you're on controller, you ADS and it's automatically aimed at the head. Sure, that's probably where that came from. But it made no sense for PC players. Like, like at all. Like, zero sense. Also, I'm pretty sure Blast Furnace is, like, doing three more billion damage. Was I using Deadwire wrong, or is it just, like, worse? PhD. I don't need elemental pop, I don't think. I don't want it to uh to proc random ammo mods on me. I really don't want it to. It's just gonna steal kills that I need for headshots, I think. That's awful. Did I Am I hearing that correctly? Was that a parasite crawling out of that zombie? They don't sp okay. So in past games, the dogs from dog runs would just start spawning, right? In this, the parasites are spawning. What? Uh, I think I just learned that they crawl out of a zombie you kill, and they don't just spawn normally. Which is insane. That is so gross. Also, I know that's like, the whole, like, storyline's changed. I know Rick Toffin's back here. That doesn't make any sense to me, because I'm pretty sure we're in a whole different timeline. I don't know what's going on with the story. I have no idea what's going on. Absolutely not a clue. I should probably, uh, watch one of those, uh, the entire zombie storyline videos. Like, one of those long freaking documentaries that are, like, three hours long. Just, like, while I'm doing something else. Going on a walk or something. You know what? I'm gonna use that handy dandy save and quit feature, I think. And find out how many I need. I'll do it at a thousand. At a thousand crit kills, I'll do it. I really like the addition of armored zombies as well. I don't know about these guys. Like, I think they're cool. They're really cool looking, at least. But they're getting kind of tanky. And if they keep scaling at the rate that they're scaling, my gun's gonna do nothing! That's a little concerning. But I'm all for the game being difficult. You know what? If I die before I get this gun gold, then I think I'll try out the Rampage Inducer. Instead, it makes the game harder. And, uh, I am a fan of, uh, the Souls games. 
So, you know, how bad could it be? And like ultra kill and stuff. Hard games are fun. Like, I, I don't think that's a hot take at this point in time. I think people have just understood that, uh, uh oh, uh oh. Anywhere but here. Oh. Okay. Well, self revive. Because I'm gonna go buy quick revive again. Wait, I still have quick revive. What do you mean? I, I just used it. I went down. Just die. Also, is that Nikolai? That sounds like Nikolai. It's probably not. It, is that offensive for me to say? Is it just like someone with a Russian accent and I said it sounds like Nikolai? Is that offensive? It does sound like Nikolai though. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Offensive or not, it sounds like Nikolai. <laughs> it's been so long since I've actually heard Nikolai's voice actor, I would not be able to tell you. Oh, I could probably use this to get the free, uh, the free dead shot. Can they use this upline? They can't get ruled. All right, the headshot power of the dead shot accurate. And the... Uh, Let's be honest, that is the best perk jingle. Oh my god, I'm garbage. I'm so bad at this game. Okay, that was a cool little, like, ending scene. I had 820 crits. Is a thousand what you need for gold? I assume it's a thousand, right? Put a little sight on it. Oh, that thing looks goofy. Chance to drop extra salvage. Oh, okay, that's just the best of all those options. Damage range and get this goofy looking guy. Oh my god, it looks so stupid. I can probably get the dead shot perk now that I have a scope. Probably shouldn't be too hard. All right, camo. Oh god. Oh, you need 2,000. Okay. Um. <laughs> and I need cryo freeze and dead wire. Oh boy. So I need 2,000 crits, huh? This is gonna be a minute. This game is really... Okay, so let's say a game released and it just perfectly recreated the original zombies experience from world at war where it's just like this scary thing that comes out of nowhere like you beat the campaign and you get it and it's this like what is going on type situation and then it's like the dlc comes around and they say here's another and you know what we have perks now these things that have these crazy buffs let's say we got something like that again where people don't expect it and it's like this cool mode out of nowhere it's not gonna be a shock anymore because one, like every zombie has an alternate game mode now, like you had Extinction with aliens, you got all kinds of stuff going on. And people know there's going to be zombies. So I think this is the only true way you can give like a shock to the player. Like it's just got all kinds of stuff you can do. It's its own thing. And I think it's cool. Anyway, I'm going to try Rampage Inducer, see how crazy that goes. Oh, okay, it wasn't active yet. Oh boy, whoa, look at the round counter. It electrifies the round counter. Okay, well they're definitely sprinting. And they definitely weren't sprinting at this point in the game before. Was that just me or did he take three headshots instead of two? Or am I am I insane? Am I losing it? Round two just started and he's already in my face. <laughs> what is going on? Okay. Yeah, I see what Rampage Inducer does. Got it noted. I don't like it though. Oh my god, maybe I can't do this with a pistol? Like maybe when I'm starting with an assault rifle or an SMG or something? But uh... This is a little crazy. It does speed up the start of the game though. Maybe I'll leave it on for a little bit. And actually... That's... That's a good question. Can I turn it off? Have I subject myself? Oh, hello. What are you doing? You guys are just chilling over here. Oh, I, th I thought I could, like, interact with the phone for a second, but it's just telling me to, like, mount it. Okay. With Rampage Inducer, I think I'm gonna have to pick up when I buy doors. Like, I'm just gonna have to start buying them. Do I even have more ammo with a bigger mag? Is that, like, even a thing in this game? Like, I know I have more ammo in the mag, duh, but... Do I have more total ammo? I don't remember. I guess I guess I can check that in post, I'll let you know, but I'm gonna be here for a while, aren't I? Like, getting 2,000 headshots for every gun, that's gonna take a hot minute. But you know what? That's fine. Oh my god, this thing's hot trash before you pack it. <laughs> so freaking bad. Also, I love that they remove the heads from the zombies still. Uh, if you didn't know, back when World at War released, and first introduced zombies. That was a glitch. The zombies were supposed to die when their head is removed, but every now and then they would survive and their head would be missing if you did like the correct amount of damage or something when you headshot them and they'd walk around uh, before they died after it all. Like that, that used to be a glitch. And they've just taken it and made it a feature ever since. It's so cool. Like the original stories of zombies is so freaking cool to me. Like how it even came to be, it started from a flash game called Last Stand, which I'm sure anyone my age like early 20s has heard of it just the fact that this mode this like crazy complex mode now it didn't used to be complex but this now complex mode spawned from last freaking stand like a dev saw that and was like hey wait a minute i wanted to make a tower defense mode for call of duty in my free time for world at war i wanted to make a tower defense game mode oh wait there's this flash game where there's kind of tower defense ish with zombies what if we trapped you in a small building and just you had to defend these barriers against zombies Hmm. 
And now we've gotten to the point where there are no barriers. I, there's freaking alien squid beasts and, <laughs> and laser beams and crazy, crazy stuff. Like, I, I think they, they did a good job. The zombies in general in media are far overdone in my opinion which i think i think most people can agree with like zombies are one of the most overdone things in media at this point in time but i think they are doing a decent pivot like it's not just zombies there's this whole storyline behind it is like freaking beasts and mad scientists and, and aliens and like elder gods like what are they doing it just made it really interesting and as someone who's uh i, I don't want to say a fan I don't think you can say you're a fan of H.P. Lovecraft because bro is provably insane, right? <laughs> like, I mean, just Google his cat's name. He has some issues. <laughs> he has a lot of issues. <laughs> but as a fan of H.P. Lovecraft's uh, stories that he has written and nothing else about the man himself, I think the zombies lore is kind of cool. Like, I looked at the chaos story stuff a little bit, and while I didn't enjoy Black Ops 4 at all, I thought that game was hot trash for zombies. The story's kind of neat. Like, you're going around to like ancient Roman Greece and fighting Pegasus. Like, what? I thought we were fighting zombies. What is this? What am I playing? I think it's just so interesting. I need to turn off the Rampage Inducer, by the way. Like, that's what I'm running for right now. That goes a little too crazy. <laughs> I think it's nice for like the first five rounds, maybe. At least when my gun's this garbage, but it gets a little insane. And I'm gonna die if I keep using it. Oh, does it not turn off immediately? I have to like kill the current zombies. Oh, uh oh, I thought it would just turn off. Okay, we're good. Yeah, they've notably slowed down. That is crazy. That's a really cool feature as well. Just a lot of little things like that to spice up the gameplay. Like, you're not just loading in. You're not just using the 1911, going to power, going to the box, repeat forever. You are deciding, hey, do I want this run to be a little, uh, little interesting? Am I gonna run Rampage Inducer to round 30 until I have to, like, parkour around zombies and slide around corners and, like, dive so, Like, am I gonna implement challenge that I want for myself? Instead of being locked to, to one set difficulty and then, you know, just base easy zombies difficulty? It's very interesting. And also the, like, ammo types, alternate ammo types, the, uh, the field upgrades are really cool. Just all of that is so, so cool. I haven't even gotten to augments yet, but I've heard those are very, uh, interesting. They really change gameplay. Like, there's one for Juggernaug that I know of called, I think it's like Turtle Shell or something, where if you are looking at an enemy straight forward, they hit you for full damage. Your armor is worthless, but if they hit you in the back, you take zero. Now, that's just an example of them being cool. I think that's a trash augment outside of like niche use cases. Like, you probably do something meme -y that <laughs> you'd like live forever with, I'm sure. No one's running around just like turning your back, but in the end, they took the zombie shield, which old zombies games used to have. You just craft a shield and it would cover your back through a couple of hits. And they just allowed people to play with the old zombie shield instead of the armor if they want, if they like that, if they prefer that. I think that's cool. You can do builds. You can have so much variety in this game compared to older zombies games. I think it will really help the longevity. Obviously, there will be a longevity issue with this game because, you know, it doesn't have a workshop. You can't make community maps. No matter how absolutely amazing the gameplay is and no matter how cool it is it will die it will die someday the community cannot continue to keep it alive i'm sure obviously speed running you know will stay around probably but the core community will leave it when the next good zombies game drops or when this game uh dies they'll go back to black ops 3 unless they decide to release mod tools for this game i don't know that they will they hate releasing mod tools well the devs don't hate it i'm sure the devs are absolutely fine with mod tools but you know the the higher ups who uh really enjoy their money uh, dislike mod tools because people end up playing the old game for years instead of buying the new one for zombies which i am uh i'm an offender of i don't buy call of duties really anymore i generally play them for zombies and well the zombies haven't been good in my opinion so i've just been playing black ops 3 forever which not gonna lie gets a little boring after all those years you can't play one game that long so i just stopped playing it Okay, I'm garbage. Okay, at the end of this round, I'm gonna try the uh, the save and quit feature because I must know how close I am to the camo. Oh, never mind, I don't have to check. It's right there. Now I just need 300 kills with cryo, right? And then dead wire. Okay, I'm gonna try save and quit because I need to know what ammo type I need. Save and quit. Augments. 
Cool, cool, cool. I want to check what augments do. Research augments. So I have to research stamina up. Bolt of lightning strikes from above. Ooh. Okay, well, I'm just going to go into, like, the perks. Uh, okay, cryo freeze and Edvar. Yeah, that's what I thought. Also, this is a really cool skin. Actually getting kind of sketchy. Uh, did, did Weaver, um, did Weaver just meow? Oh my god, finally I'm done with the crowd freeze. The other one's a dead wire, I'm pretty sure. Would it be quicker for me to just, like, start a new round? A new run? <laughs> for these kills? This is getting a little insane. Nah, I need to use this, I think. Oh my god, this is powerful. There's my insta kill. That went crazy. Manglers are crazy. Quite. <laughs> Bro. Hey, how's it going? Oh, yeah, need me, are we? Oh, yeah. Well, that's probably a good thing, in all honesty. It is getting a little too difficult. 1,500 crit kills, even though. Hey, that's pretty cool. And get myself the rampage inducer at the start. Speed things up a little bit. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Why do I suck at this video again? I'm gonna. <laughs> it's rampage inducer. I forgot it was rampage inducer. I need to go turn that thing off for right now. Oh my god, I need to turn that thing off. More than keep up, they're like faster than I am. Oh, I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. See you guys later. I'm turning that thing off. I wonder what the highest round ever achieved on pure rampage inducer is. That would be something I'm interested in. Not doing, because that sounds painful, but... And seeing the, uh... Seeing someone else do it. I'm gonna train these guys up and go for... Go for 10 kills. <laughs> on them, see if it counts. Is a Massacre a 10 kill medal? Double anywhere but here? Nice. No. Oh! Cool! I got it on the, the, yeah, so it definitely counts on Vermin, that's good to know. I guess that's one way to find out, huh? By literally getting the camo on Vermin. You know what? No, just kill me. Just just put me out of my misery, just do it. Just do it, I've, I've literally been here for three hours. I'm not self-reviving. I'm not doing it. I'm not gonna do it. Yeah, that's right, you scurry away. You go have fun with your day. Uh, bro just left, he's actually gone. Oh no, oh god, there's a- Why is there a death animation for those? Oh, is it actually like what you die to you get a death animation for? I got Mystic Gold though. That is such a freaking sick skin, man. Hit fire spread, there we go. Let's see what this thing looks like in game real quick. Look at that thing. As I'm getting mauled to death, look at it. Look at it. Actually an idea. <laughs> oh, we got a crispy guy there. Oh, look at it. It's so good. It's so pretty. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dang, some of these skins are so cool. Afterlife, 20 more consecutive kills 10 times without taking damage. Afterlife is sick. Nebula is really cool as well. Got a long ways to go for those, but hey, got my first Mystic Gold. It's gonna be a long journey, but it was kind of cool to be able to talk. I don't know what any of this does. Generate an energy beam that deals lethal shadow damage and penetrates everything in its path. Oh my god, hello? I'm gonna definitely be trying that next time. And I think when I uh, start up next time, I'll just use the Gorkova. It's the next pistol. Why not? Full auto, that should be fun. Yeah, this will be the next gun I do. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys next time. Have a good one. If you enjoyed it, please uh, feel free to like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.